Today I'm going to show you how to make loom band bracelets. There's one of the basic ones and one of the crossbow um, sort of French plait one. And uh, first I'm going to show you how to make the loop basic one. So to start off, what you basically do is put this round your finger and then you get an S clip, which is one of these things you probably have in a loom band pack and you literally click it on so it's like that and then you uh, put your thumb in the middle or you can um, try to do it without but that's the uh, easiest way to do it and then you put another band through and then like so halfway through or halfway out and then it's like that you do that again um, you get a band and you put it through the band that you've just clicked onto the one which is attached to the S clip and if it does come off all you can simply do is put it back on again then you have a another band put it through there so on so on and you keep doing this until it's actually long enough so it eventually becomes like down to your the size of your wrist, let's say, and well, when you've done at least enough, it's down to your wrist. You can then clip it on to the end like this, and then, oh, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> the hand came off. Um, uh, yeah, if it does come off, you could simply just click it back on again because it's one of the simple ones. So yeah. That's a sort of ring type, but here's one I made earlier. This is called the loop. It's quite a bigger version than this one, and um, you can wear it as a bracelet like that. Um, yeah, and now I'm going to show you the crossbow. Um, so um, here's how it starts. You basically grab a band, a bit like the other one and you put it on your finger like that and then what you do is take it off one finger, either one and take it off you twist it once and you put it back onto your finger so it looks a bit like this sort and then you grab another band put it on ooh, top of your finger and then you do that again grab another one put it on top and then you grab the underneath one this yellow one here and you grab it and put it ooh, on top like that and then you do that again so you grab another band and you Put it on top of that dark green band for there, and then you grab the blue band and oh, just the blue band. Grab the blue band and put it on top there, like that, and then you stretch them out, and then you grab another band. Put it on top, and then it starts to look a bit like a plait sort after you've done loads. Um, here it, um, it might start to look like a plait. It might not. Depends on how many bands you decide to put on. Because you could put two on, three, but the three one might be even harder if you put three bands on at the beginning it might be harder even harder to make so if you put two bands on it's quite easy to make on the crossbow and then you grab the underneath one stretch it two yellow ones stretch it and then you grab a another band put it on top and you keep doing it until it's long enough like the other bracelet I said and keep doing it until it's long enough 
and then after it's long enough you can then clip an S clip onto the end of it like by doing that and you clip it on and you take this off and ooh, you add it onto the other finger and you simply just put it ooh, in the S clip and then what you do uh, is just simply wear it. This looks a bit like a ring because it's not long enough but here's one that I made earlier a crossbow sort. It, it tends to come out like this and uh, you can use two S clips if you want it to be one side to be one pattern and the other side to be another pattern that's what I've done here and um, that's all we're going to be doing today and uh, thank you for watching